Greetings and welcome to the No One Likes Your Band video podcast episode two. I am joined by none other than So High. So High. Hey. <laughs> the drunken master himself. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, thanks for, you know, coming by, you know, chopping yeah, it up, having, having some drinks, all that shit, man. It is all great, <laughs> my long haired dude. <laughs> So, for all the people out there listening, or watching rather, see, I'm still in podcast mode, but for all the people out there watching, give them your backstory, just real quick, like. Well, um, you know, um, I was born one day, and um, after uh, being damn near drowned in the pool by like a 300 pound dude back in D.C., you know. I, 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 I awoken and um, I became um, a sentient being, knowing life and death. And, you know, anyway, forget about that part of the story. Yeah, I'm so high, <laughs> man, straight up from from um, Greenwood, South Carolina, aka, I mean, really, where shows, South Carolina. And, you know, um, I love rap. I, I discovered rap back when I was about 17 in high school, you know, about to graduate high school, you know. My cat Aiken Bones put me on to, to, to rapping and stuff like that, even though I'd already been doing it for like forever. I actually been rapping since I was five, but he was, he was really doing it. He was really putting it out there. So, you know, I liked the way he did his thing, freestyled, and girls loved him. <laughs> so, I wanted to be like him, <laughs> you know. Aiken Bones, big shout out to Aiken Bones down in Coastbury. Um and you know Coastbury. Yeah. Man, that that's that's like right down the street from where I grew up, man. Word up. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 is that basically the dude that like really, really made you really want to rap or Yeah, that was that was the guy, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody in the industry that made me want to rap or anything like that. It was it was it was Jerry Aiken, aka Aiken. Bones. <laughs> he 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 really made me want to rap, man. Shit. And, Anything yeah. specific about his style that just really made the light bulb go off and go, damn, I want to do this. Or was well, it just the, the whole? It, thing? it was him. Like he used to rap, man. The girls loved him. <laughs> that was it. You know what I'm saying? But specifically about his style, he never cussed. He was a preacher's son. You know, he never cussed. He wouldn't. You can't get him to cuss outside of rap. Inside of rap, he never cussed. He would never cuss, but everybody loved him, man. Sure, everybody loved everything he did. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, sure. Anyway, um, you need more of the backstory? Uh, no, nah, I, I, I can, I I can give you. I can up, update you from 17. <laughs> but that's that's basically what made me want to rap. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's your interview, so you can talk about really whatever you want to. But um, I mean, as far as like, as far as like your music career. Other than, you know, just that initial inspiration right there, like, how did you get started, like, making recordings? And you mentioned to me before that you've been in a lot of groups and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I, I, I first started out, um, after, like, uh, after, like, I, I, after I got out of high school, I went to prison for a little a while. I got out back in 1999. And, then, like, between there and 2001, you know what I'm saying, I, um, I worked a little while, and then I went to college, you know, but I came back from college one day, and, and my brothers, my little brothers was rapping and doing their thing, and I came down, and they had made, like, a makeshift studio and uh, in my parents' basement, and I was like, damn, they're recording down there and everything, this was, this was after, it was probably, like, a week or two after I had actually found a guy at school, a guy named Fazwa, you know what I'm saying, an African cat from, um, from, from, from Zimbabwe, and from Arare, Zimbabwe, and, um, he went to Lander, you know, and I met up with him, and I was dating his cousin, and they had a studio too, and I recorded it, I recorded a couple of songs, my first songs with that cat, and, um, you know, I come home like a week later after I recorded those songs and find out my brothers and them had already been recording. I had no idea that they had been rapping already. I had no freaking idea. You know what I'm saying? They love rap. They rap 
but they had been rapping and them motherfuckers were, I mean, you know, they tight. Fuck, they was going hard, you know what I'm saying? Shit, some of the best rap I've ever heard in my life, you know? But, um, word up. Excuse me. Word up. Uh, so, like, what, what was the first recording you ever got on? I mean, do you remember that song and, like, yeah, and, like first the process record. of getting that recording and, like, what it was like to yeah. lay down a verse for the first time? Man, shoot, first recording. Colder the Streets. I remember that one. My first song, you know. But really, really, actually, that wasn't my first. That was my first by myself. First song I ever did was with Tafazwa. He had made a beat and um, kind of a sample beat. But it was with this with Tafazwa and this girl named Janine. She was making a song called Baby Keep Your Head Up. And uh, I was to be the rap portion of it. Of that song, right. you know, because back then, what well, was like 2002, back then, you know, it was, that's what was all over the radio. Yeah. This type of thing. Yeah, you had the R&B song and then yeah, about three the quarters of the way, you had the, the, the 16 bar verse. Yeah, 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 you put in a high 16, <laughs> so I did that. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I did that little thing. I was nervous as a mug. I had to punch in. It was like the, the, the first song that I ever did, but I had to punch in like every verse. <laughs> I had to spit a verse and then punch in, spit a verse. I was so nervous. And I wasn't in front of no camera and in front of no stage and nothing like that. Never been in front of it. And, you know, I, it, was just, it, it was crazy. I liked that. And like I said, a week later, shoot, that's when I got with the boys. And it came a little bit more natural in doing it with my brothers and my friends. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, peace, peace, my brother. Uh, shoot, uh, Bob, you know what I'm saying? It's my boy Arcane, Bob Arcane, aka <laughs> Arcane, uh, Speedy, uh, Drew, the Drew Driver, JC, you know what I'm saying? Aka Rev, <laughs> um, you know, uh, shit, Big C, <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> Ant, whatever you want to call him, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, then, you know, and it was just more natural doing it with him because we had already been playing around, especially like um, since my, my boy Jason, he died when he was like 12. I was 12, too, you know, a long time ago, you know, you know got shot <laughs> in the face. But, you know, it's, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Was, but we, I remember that one. That was our first record. Actually, that was the first recording with Jason. We was 12 years old. And, and, and we used to record these Joan sessions. We'd be joning on the bus and stuff, talk shit, what, what, what a lot of people like call dirty dozens or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, he joning and stuff. So Jason came out with this way. He had this boom box that you could record your sound and everything. You know, you know, he could play in this side. He'd play a song. He could play like beats or something. Like the instrumentals. Yeah. And this was on tape. <laughs> this was back in like 1992. So it was almost <laughs> like a karaoke machine or something. Well, it's a boom box, man. Everybody mm -hmm. knows the big giant ghetto blaster Yo, boom yeah, box. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> back in 1992. And it had right. one side with a tape and another side had tape. You know what I'm saying? Right. Places, but right. you could play a beat on one side of it. And you could record the beat playing plus the microphone on and record your own tape. So I have that's that, that little, the ghetto blaster. That little the ghetto blaster mic is on famous. It. Yeah, the little bitty it's just a little hole in it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta stand right up next to it, right to your face. <laughs> and and just and, but uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> offer and then that's at wrong. first that's yeah that, it, that is old school. <laughs> that is old school. Like, and what the first a lot song, of people didn't realize those are actually good mics. They're condenser mics. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they actually... That's why they sounded so good. Yeah, they actually sounded decent. And then he would... <laughs> and then every morning, you know what I'm saying, he would bring his boombox <laughs> to school. He would bring it to school and then play the tape that we played over the weekend. Because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that we were recording over the weekend, joning on whoever the hell we was joning on, you know what I'm saying, whoever was talking shit on the bus. The day, but I mean, like on Friday or whatever, like yeah, we gotta get them, <laughs> we gotta get them. So we basically we we were battle rapping when we was twelve, <laughs> basically. 
And, 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 and one of the first songs was called uh, Milk Cereal Grimlock. You know what I'm saying? The, the hook went like, <laughs> I still remember this shit. I can't believe it. I still remember this shit. It was called, it was Milk Cereal. We were like, Milk Cereal. Milk Cereal, baby. Milk Because we was like, we was, MC Hammer was the shit for us. Vanilla Ice was coming out. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? So we, we was like, we was like Hammer. You know what I'm saying? Hammer was our shit. I don't give a fuck if, if no everybody loves Hammer. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. <laughs> Hammer, MC fucking Hammer, game over. What well, Hammer? He had the, he had that crazy shit. So all of our all of our songs that we did that like, man, you know, was like Hammer songs. We were just doing <laughs> Hammer parodies or whatever. I don't know. But we had a song called Milk Cereal, Milk Cereal, Milk Cereal, baby. And we used to fuck around and make make fun of this cat that stayed next door to me. You know what I'm saying? His name was Mr. Mac. <laughs> Game over. Mr. Mac. Because um, Mr. Mac, we used to play football in the front yard all the time, and we threw the football sometimes, and it'd go over his fence in his yard. <laughs> and then, goddamn, Mr. Mac, we jump over the fence, go get the football, run, get, jump back across the um, fence or whatever. But Mr. Mac, he's like, y'all, y'all, y'all little kids, y'all stay on my goddamn fence. <laughs> you know, he's always on my fence, whatever, because he had a big-ass pecan tree in his yard, too. He used to pick up. Pecan. <laughs> we used to steal the shit out of his pecans. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, shit. Mr. Mac, and then, you know, Mr. Mac, he was fucking crazy as hell. He'd bring out, eventually, after so many times of fucking doing the, I mean, throwing a football and playing football every fucking day, like, you know, one day he brought a shotgun. He just started oh, fucking shit. blasting. Boo! <laughs> Boo! He like, get off my motherfucking fence! Boo! He be blasting at us. You know what I'm saying? We running. We kids. We like fucking 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? Kids, little youngins. Even my brothers, they younger than me. You know what I'm saying? Running from this old ass dude from fucking New York that wants to move to the goddamn South. And this motherfucker just blasting. Boo! Get off my fence! Boom! This motherfucker got there reloading and shit. Oh my god. Man, shit, Mr. Mac was a fucking goddamn nuisance. He was a fucking asshole, man. You know what I'm saying? Word up. I mean, come on, man. We little kids, man. Shit, we playing football. They just pecans. They just pecans. <laughs> and then we're playing football. I mean, come on, man. You don't get that. But anyway, shit. And, you know, long story short, he shot a dog in our backyard one day, you know, too. You know, but still, Mr. Mac, man, he wasn't nothing to be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? You know, we fuck with Mr. Mac. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds like a song that needs to be written, man. Yeah, we did. Cause we, made, <laughs> we made a song called Milk Cereal because Mr. Mac, he had these big ass man titties. <laughs> And that's what Milk Cereal was about. <laughs> These big ass man titties that this old ass dude, he was probably like fucking 70 years old back then. You know what I'm saying? With these big ass giant man titties. <laughs> and and we, be, we make fun of him on these, on these tapes. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know? <laughs> milk Cereal. Milk we went hard we went hard me and my brothers me and Jason you know what I'm saying shoot R.P. Jason you know what I'm saying Jason Fitzgerald Walker game on so uh, <laughs> that's a great story man but uh, oh, man. Uh, who's, your, who's your first show like my first show man let me think about that shit man. first show was uh actually shoot I would say my first show was probably at Piedmont Tech. You know, uh what, what, what at Piedmont Tech. Piedmont Technical College. I I, I went what? to Piedmont Tech <laughs> for a little bit right before I went to prison. You know what I'm saying? Piedmont Tech. You know what I'm saying? Um they had uh, the Ebony Club. It was it was a club, you know what I'm saying, about like black history and this and learning about Piedmont you know, Tech is a tiny little technical college in Greenwood, South Carolina, yeah, by the way. Piedmont Tech, yeah. Word up. Uh, um yeah, I mean they used to do every year they do the uh Black History Month poetry thing. Poetry recital or whatever you wanna do or whatever. That back then when I first did it, they didn't have cameras and all that stuff for PBS. You know, um but yeah, uh, that was my first show. I did that there, and my 
Man, shit, I sucked. <laughs> I sucked. So, <laughs> I, I and really, I actually did the um only reason why I, why I joined the Ebony Club and started doing the poetry and everything was because I was chasing this girl, man. Tomorrow, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I was chasing her bad because she was a bad, bad girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> so I was trying to do any and everything to talk to this girl. And I found out she was into poetry and I found out she was into stuff like that. You know, like, oh, are you into that too? All right. <laughs> well, well, later on, I ended up marrying her. I married her. Yeah, that was my first wife. Eventually, um, we married, we got married in 2009. You know what I'm saying? Back in, when I, when I first met her, it was like 1998. You know what I'm saying? But we got we had got married in 2009. You know what I'm saying? But I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure, I'm persistent. <laughs> <laughs> we got divorced, too. I'm divorced. So, but, but anyway, we're still friends. You know what I'm saying? It's a different story. It's for a different day. <laughs> that, we'll, we'll save that for another podcast. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> but yeah, man, shit, I chased the shit out of that girl. Man, <laughs> man shoot. I wish I had a picture. Shoot, sure, y'all know, shoot, sure, when you see the bad, <laughs> you see the bad love like that, damn shit. Look, me, you know, shit. The blinders come on, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah shoot. Sure. I got tunnel vision. <laughs> I got tunnel vision on her for years, man. I finally, I got it. I, I chased it down. I got her to marry me. So, yeah. Your boy got game. Game over. There you go. Persistence <laughs> pays off, you know. <laughs> but, but, um, so, what was your favorite show that you ever done? Oh man, so many, so many. Um, I did a show probably about two or three years ago for um, Deaf Judges Broke Up. Um, my boy Matt, um, aka Q Benson from the Deaf Judges, DJ um, Deaf Judges make a lot of beats. He was there at that show. Um, Tommy Television, you know what I'm saying? He was there. All these cats out of Athens, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, Rorschach. You know, back then he was still Rorschach, um, Louis Larceny, and um, Produce Man, aka Sawmill Sling, um, Austin. You know what I'm saying? His name's Austin. You know, he, um, matter of fact, right now his group's the Darnell Boys. You know what I'm saying? Won a couple of awards at Fest this year for Best Americana and all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, they, uh, you know, that was the group back then. That was Deaf Judges, and we did. My first show, I guess their first show at the 40 Watt Club in Athens, Jordan, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Um, that show was so dope. We did a song called, uh, I mean, they did their thing, whatever, and I was a guest appearance on it. And I came up on stage and uh, we did, we did, uh, damn, I can't even remember the name of that song. But the reason why I remember that show the most is because we were having fun. It was it was just fucking sold out, and we we actually opened for fucking Turquoise Jeep. <laughs> if you can believe that shit, <laughs> Turquoise Jeep, them cats. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, how do you like your eggs? You like them fried or fertilized? Them cats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me shmang that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to smash and bang Turquoise Jeep? Do your research <laughs> on YouTube. Them cats is funny. They do a lot of shit. But, uh, yeah. And the reason why I remember it so much, cause shit, like, like, they loved us so much. Man, shit. I did my verse. And then, shit, I dropped the fucking mic and jumped off stage, man. I stayed died. <laughs> the first time, man. And they carried me around and shit. She was crazy. Like, they kept carrying me. I was like, man, I gotta get off. And then this, like, this, this little, like, like this East Indian little girl and shit. And she, like, took my shoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. <laughs> and I, I think I was going commando too that night, man. I ain't no underwear. And <laughs> these motherfuckers was like pulling off my clothes type shit. That shit was crazy. But I finally got down, got back to the East Indian girl to get my shoe and shit. She gave me a number and everything. Never called her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never called it. But I got my shoe back, jumped back on stage, do my ad libs for some more shit. And I, was, I just felt it again. Jumped off again. <laughs> I was like, I just want to see if they're going to catch me. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> they caught me. Game over and shit. And I got like four or five numbers. <laughs> Not even four or five, man. Shit. Um, I remember Barry, the owner of the club, man, she 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 wanted me to 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 do some security for this turquoise Jeep guys. I'm like, nah, look, I don't even work here. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> she, she actually truly thought that I was one of her. 
workers because I always I, I I like to frequent that club. I like to go to that club a lot. Forty Watt Club, man. Did a video, you know, part of a video there, another video there too. So big shout out to the Forty Watt Club, Athens, Georgia, Washington Street. You know what I'm saying? Word up. True. So uh, I feel like if that's one show, then you got to have a wild story from another show, like a story that's like wilder than that. Because I mean, uh, you gotta that's not time. that's not that's not super wild. But, nah, 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 but I mean, st- stage diving is cool, you know, that's cool. But nah, I mean, I there's like, got, there's got, to, there's got to stage be. dives. Who does that at their shows? <laughs> Especially at, because uh, everybody's at scared level. nobody's gonna catch them. <laughs> yeah, or you might not have enough people there to catch you and shit like that, man. Shit, you can't stage yeah. dive. There's five motherfuckers in the crowd, and you stage dive and shit, you gonna knock everybody out. <laughs> ah, boo. <laughs> nah, shoot, that's that's that's. I, I do got some wildest stories, man, but. Damn, man, I gotta think about it, man, because I've been drinking right, this shit well, too much. We'll, 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 we'll come back to that. Uh, talk about, talk about Drunken Master. How, you know, how, we'll talk about the process of making that, how that came about, you know, who you worked with, that whole thing. Uh, Drunken Master. Well, if I can remember it correctly. Uh, Drunken Master, I was fucking, um, I was, I was fucking coked out of my mind. Like, in the last year or so. No, no, I had just got kicked out of college. Yeah, yeah, and I'm still... St- I no, 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 I wasn't... I had just got kicked out of college. I, I fucking quit college. <laughs> I didn't get kicked out. I quit. And I went down there in Atlanta with my brother, you know. And, um, he wanted to come, me to come down and do shows and stuff. Another story. I can elaborate on that. I ain't gonna say his name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. You know who you are, brother. My oldest, one, my oldest brother, um, one of my older brothers. And, uh, you know, um, I come back to Greenwood from Atlanta and I stayed in, and I got my same house back, you know, and, you know, I guess this is for MK Todd, you know, my girl MK. Peace, R.P. M.K. Uh, but um, yeah, man, I'm staying in this house, you know, and I'm just just going ham, man. And I needed money. I needed money bad, man. So I started fucking. Shit, I, I got back to an old thing that I did, thing that I went to prison for, which was selling coke. Well, shit, I said fuck it. I tried it. So I tried some fucking coke, and then I started fucking fucking just going ham writing. I just sit in the fucking room and just be fucking writing and shit. Knowing this shit's bad for me or whatever. And and I'm selling coke at the same time. And motherfuckers coming around all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna mention anything. But, you know, I ain't ain't got no problem with airing out my demons or anything. I don't fuck around like that no more. But, yeah, and still, you know, so it's a nice little juicy bet if you really want to know some, if you really want to know the tea. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. Have little tea parties and shit. You want to go to tea, <laughs> homeboy? Shoot or homegirl? Shoot. This is this right now. This is the tea party. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the this is the dirt. You know, I was I was doing coke and shit, and I just started fucking writing. And booyah, I just come out with all these lyrics, but I had no pills. And you know, maybe about a year later, after I've written all this material and. I'm, just going ham in it, and then I'm still doing the um, I'm still doing the um, open mic circuit. So I'm using all these songs. I'm doing all these songs as fucking poetry, actually. All the lyrics I was just doing them as poetry at these open mics and stuff. You know, I I, I um, I came home. Um, eventually, you know, I just I quit selling, and I quit doing it and fucking around, which was probably. A couple of months later, I just, and I just, I just came home and lived with my parents for a while. But they had internet there, and you know, I got on the internet and I got on MySpace and shit like that. And then I started, I started getting a little contacts, or whatever, and trying to do something. I was putting out like old stuff that me and me and my brothers had done, posting that in MySpace, you know, those songs. And then a couple of cats, like a uh, dude named um, C's from Germany, um, Seize Beats from Germany, 
he uh, he he started sending me some beats, you know, which which made f actually for the for the songs that you hear now, which are, um, nigga no, um, he sent me a reprise of uh, of um, losing my mind, but we already had that beat, a guy named J L close friend of the family named J.L. from New York. He had already um, sent me a loop on that and beats, you know, that beat. He had already sent that, you know what I'm saying? But um, I sent it to him too, and he did a reprise, but we never used it for the album. Um, but he sent me um, Fuck Boys beat 2 and like a big like file of a lot of beats that I still haven't used yet. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to hear those maybe in the future because C's is the man. If you don't know who C's Beats is, Sebastian Chief Nerd, you know what I'm saying? Um, he just finished doing, um, uh, maybe last year, beginning of this year, he just finished doing the Guilty Simpson album from, um, from, you know, Gu Guilty Simpson from Stone's Throw Records. You know what I'm saying? Stone's Throw, that's Mad Lib, um, MF Doom, all them cats right there. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, that's who did a couple of my beats or whatever. So I started getting those beats together and whatever. And then I ended up um, going to a party one time with my boy Kippy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't going to say his full name. I don't know if he want me to say it or whatever, but Kippy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out up there in Colorado. You know what I'm saying? Smoke up. Uh, you know, well, Kippy, he introduces me to Rorschach. You know what I'm saying? Rorschach, this cat. He's yeah, a legend on, on the campus up there in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Everybody goes to his shows. He's underground king. Best rapper you ever heard in your life. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. White boy. I mean, he just, he kills everything that's moving. You know what I'm saying? But he's a dope producer too. Did not know that. Well, one day we had this party out there in the Carlton and stuff at my boy Ross's house. Ross McTaggart, aka Left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He down in Charleston doing his big, doing his DJ thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, shoot. Uh, Kippy calls me over to the car. We sit down in the party like Kippy calls me over to the car. We getting drunk and smoking and shit. We just, we going ham. And he's like, hey, Dan, spit that shit you spit for me last week. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, you want me to spit that shit again? You know, yeah, <laughs> spit it for this guy right here. I was like, all right, whatever. All right, then sure, I start spitting. I just go hard. I'm going hard. Spin that shit. Shit is dope. You know what I'm saying? Kippy's like, yeah, that was dope. And then shit, this, this other cat. Sitting in the car, got this little girl hanging off his arm, off his neck and shit, and this girl, you know what I'm saying? But, um, shit, shit, fucking, he, he gives me dab, and he's like, yeah, that shit's dope, this shit is dope. So Kippy says, hey, dude, go ahead, and you know what I'm saying, spit that shit. So he starts spitting that shit, man. oh, man. Reason why I, at that point in time, I, as soon as he starts spitting it, He's just going in. He gonna have. I'm like, damn, I know this. He's spitting a lyric from like like a, a song on his album called Frankenstein Rhyme. And I've had this album for two years now. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. And I'm like, holy shit. As soon as I recognize, I'm like, holy shit, this is Rorschach. This is <laughs> fucking Rorschach. And then I got down. He's like, oh shit, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, man. Oh man, I've been listening to this shit for forever. I can spit. Lyrics, he's like coming out of the sky like a fucking Hindenburg, putting your mind, him around. My mind's a fucking ill in yours. Clobber any sucker that steps in my way. He was going hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've been fucking around with this shit. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Hey, it's no yeah. Russian band. You know how we Anyway, do. right then, right then, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we fucking. We exchanged numbers and everything. He liked my rap, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, of course, shit, I've been listening to this cat for years. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Um, and uh, I'd say probably about a, a year later, he wanted me, he called me, and he wanted me, maybe not, not a year later, I don't know, I can't get the time frames right, but uh, he called me, and he wanted me to get on one of his rhymes, Want me to, and so I was like, all right, cool. But I already had all this fucking shit in my mind and shit. I already got like all of my shit memorized. And I finally got all my beats together. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tom C3, he had donated a couple of beats, but I hadn't used them yet. And I'm just not getting to, to using his. 
You know what I'm saying? Tom C three, he did um projects uh, uh, the Simeon Samurai with um with with, with Cool Keith. Uh, no, not Cool Keith, but Prince Poe from um Organized Confusion, you know what I'm saying, with Pharaoh Monk, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I just got him um uh he just sent me a package of beats too. You know what I'm saying? And I've and I've been talking on the phone with Prince Poe too already to do something never something that never happened. Again, you know, these cats, these rap cats, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with Prince Paul being my man. You know what I'm saying? He just kind of forgot about me, but it's cool. We're going to let that win. You know, everything's cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, when you got shit to do, sometimes you do forget. It, ha- it, happens. It, happens. it happens. It happens. Well, anyway, shoot. I get down to Athens. I come down from Greenwood, South Carolina, go down to Athens to record the song with him and shit. And, and he was like, hey, man, you got something else? And I was like, yeah, I got, I got something else, man. I want to record some, some more stuff, whatever. So I proceed to, re- for the next six hours, that's when we record the whole Drunken Master album. Right then. You know, I, w- I was going so hard. I was so fucking hungry. I didn't fuck up. Not one step. We just recorded it straight through. You know what I'm saying? We did not stop. You know what I'm saying? None stop. And then we we went back and did the ad libs like weeks or something later, but we recorded that whole album right then. One take. We did not there there was That's what's up. That whole drunken app master album. One take. Period. All the way through. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Um guy named Mr. Fish, he donated some he donated a beat on that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he <laughs> knew it or not. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Fish, he's the man out of Atlanta. Mr. Fish. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, um, um, my boy Mofo Snot, a.k.a. Matthew Wilcox. You know what I'm saying? Straight out of New York. He 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 definitely he sent me a beat. That was back in the MySpace days. He sent the beat for... Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of that song, but it's on the Drunken Master album. It's like that. Dun, 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 straight thugging on a whim. I hustle hard for the kids. Well, he's he's out in the UK right now doing his thing, doing this big time thing with BMI or something like that. And you can um, see he, he, he's management at um, BM, BMI, you know what I'm saying, uh, in Germany. Um, um, let me see. Who else? Who else donated it be? Uh, my brother Bob. You know what I'm saying? Uh, AKA Arcane. He donated a beat too, but it never made it onto the album because, um, and we didn't have the levels done in time, but it's going to be on the second album. That song is going to be on the second album. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm probably going to do that song tonight for you, but, um, coming right up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, man, I, I, f- <laughs> I gotta get you on a podcast so we can sit here and talk for like two hours. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> my bad, man. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's, it's golden. It's golden. This is, consider this the sneak preview to a future podcast episode, which you can hit up at NOLYB.com. <laughs> man, I gotta do the matrix. <laughs> but yeah, so just, <laughs> But before before you get on the mic and just completely set this living room on fire, oh, I, I mean, a uh, production studio on fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, just uh, I always like to give everybody the struggle is real. <laughs> the struggle is real, son. <laughs> <laughs> Donate. Um, so. I always like to give everybody at the end of the interview, here's your chance to talk about anything you want to talk about, but I'm going to give you 60 seconds. Go. Oh, man. Unicorns and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking elves. <laughs> uh, shoot. This motherfucking goddamn leprechauns and shit, man. Look, man, they don't know nothing about a black man's struggle on here. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know what I'm saying? Shoot. They, they all about their money, man. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. We, I mean, we ain't all about the money and whatever like that. We bought our money. We were about to take care of our families and whatever, but we really want, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we really just trying to promote 
oh shit, like no one likes your band. I'm, I'm promoting www.sohighmusic.bandcamp.com. I'm promoting EXP, Explorer Entertainment. I'm, 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 I'm promoting Love More Records. You know what I'm saying? Sure, we doing Ath Factor Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Um, Donnie Knoxville, holla at your boy. Shoot, Louis Larson's new, 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 new setup coming out. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, Austin, Produce Man, aka Sawmill Slang, Darnell, Boys. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, they already doing that thing. Period. And Jim Tucci. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to go out for a stick. Y'all need to sign up for the Stick Appreciation Society and, and go out to the art galleries and see Stickopolis. You know what I'm saying? And definitely Linda Francis and everything that she's doing with, 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 with her, uh, oil paintings, Linda Francis. You know what I'm saying? You need to go buy one of those. I bought one for 500, man. And it's been, it has satisfied me to this day. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know. No one likes your band, you know what I'm saying? Because guess what? If somebody liked your band, you'd actually be here instead of me. <laughs> no one likes your band. Support. <laughs> no one likes your band. Music. <laughs> support underground art. Support local business. Support your fucking starving artists. I mean, come on. And y'all about to see this motherfucker tear shit up. Down, all of a sudden, and dug down. It's flush now. Spinning hook caps on drugs abounding. 
I come round and get in the dough, man. Fuck down, this is so hot. Holly get broke, Prince George County. My war poems harder to bite than four clones. Your force cone, I blew up the spots and war clones. The force strong, me, I'm Lord, the force strong. Self made trying to look at the door. Train home as your fuck boys, you niggas, it's hard. The tough choice, just know it's your name. Cross the road, boys, it's your fuck boys, you niggas, it's hard. The tough choice, just know it's your name. It's your fuck boys, you niggas, it's hard, it's tough choices, just know you think you cross the road, boys, it's your fuck boys, you niggas, it's hard, it's tough choices, just know you think you cross the road, yeah. so what's wrong, rotary dial, touch tone, you analog, let's get piles of mud dung, you suck off, you bitch, you gone wild, and plus the all sales, gonna build a bus, eat clowns for lunch, you own, you dead weight, dreaming of alarms, you dead straight, my guns out, my guns through the miles of red tape, your legs ain't niggas ain't ballin' the head fake city players say pass that rock the bread break yo a head case of hell in the villain of blessing yo I'm so hot making a living in red sticks with bad mates like lobbies give me that shit hate yo I had shit was hell in the city with bad face your fuck boys you niggas it's hard it's a tough choice just know it's your baby bro I'm from rubber horses you fuck boys you niggas it's hard it's a tough choice just know it's your baby it's your fuck boys, your niggas, it's hard, it's tough choices, just know it's your shit, you cross the rough voices, your fuck boys, your niggas, it's hard, it's tough choices, just know you speak, you bras, let's go, yo, it's sound crack, when people push rhymes with mud flaps, so I come strap, when I freestyle, I bust facts, so trust that, if I won't die, I love rap, well, throw a cat's passion for sex, and dub sex, I'm the spokesman for artists that grind the low lands, my brush stroke is heavy, Got the mind of a young Mind is low hand Your kind is a mother Minds get more pants I'm the lion on the precipice Pride of old Samson My tribe in the trackless I'm still so handsome I am a specialist Fight like your pants I'm trying to forget that these diamonds Old stances My pride is at purposes Diamonds and old dances My palate and magnificent skies The horse man So high the magnificent Cry and hold hands So high the magnificent yeah, yeah, I ain't no y'all. We all fuck around with me. Damn boy. I'm so hot, I'm born fighter. I'm the sworn writer. Ain't nothing nicer. I don't want conformist porn fighters. I'm going tight before like a full grown titan. And I'm fucking up your neck like a horse porn pipe. Time the dick's been sucked in the dorm. I told that whore that's more like it. The harsh climate got thorns I rip. It's hunters dead, found bruises like a hump horn hybrid. I grow more psychic, it's the good corn ripen. Mike's open to the public, but my book tours private. And I'm a giant amongst tyrants that cook planes, go to sleep to Carolina, cop sirens. I'm living like the flying, shaking kittens with a nice big kid. Pussy from a virgin with a puppy as a sidekick. Nuns in a shed using cracker jack closets. I'm brainwashed for Red Cross up prizes. Second, third world countries through the peace corps violence. I keep it on the silent write a check and gang sign it to ensure the no lights. But the Sunni in the Shia and I'm losing my mind. I'm a damn dick, the ram whipping when they kill my 
50 slash 50 with my homeboy Lissy. I'm burning on the grill, not a goal, so icky. Got me in for the day. You know them holes gon' be. They so sneaky, these hoes sick. They think that all a man should know is giving dope for the kitty. No, that dope 50, they won't get me. The rolls flip and I'm a rider like she drove slow. It's so hippie like froze titties. The flow's greasy and extends into the ozone. Surgical with this bitch, take no freaking. Oh, I'm losing my mind. And ain't no one can say me. I'm losing my mind. Oh, shit. I forgot about this one. My mic so much. See if I can get it. <laughs> Yo, my bike so nice, check one, two, three, yo, check this out, I'm testing the beat, assuming that these haters underrated, cause they ladies caught the vapors, I gotta bring it back to the streets, my speech so official, ain't nothing like this, the shit's about frightening, see, every word flash, crack clouds, clap lightning, the bass line rumble like them Chevy Chrome pipes did, Abbeville shice there, they took my license, that black bitch cop with them Three grown white men doing undercover ops on a shady gross side. Then I'm in, I'm out, I'm back to business. And when handling my real I don't need no witnesses. My Nina's my naga, yep, she's my mistress. She makes it safe to bring CP, fiends, them Christmas gifts in the state of SC. I dream of Benjamin's while working in the roach infested sports break kitchen. And this whack as hell is cruel and demeaning. I'm sick of taking trips. Trash out and toilet bowl cleaning. Them Greenwood bitches trying to come up with sort of scheming. So I'm only getting loving from my lady of the evening. That dudes it to me freaky like I like it and I need that. Charge me not a dime cause she want the LD man. She like the way I talk. I be like, lady, take it easy. Um, and I'm out. I'm back. I'm creeping. I'm so hot. Plus my mic nice check. One, two, three. I'm so hot. Plus my mic nice check. One, two, three. I'm so hot. Plus my mic nice, check one, two, three, yeah. Plus my mic nice, yeah. I mean, I find that a woman, the rich of the husband. So when I fuck, I find bitch, I know it's all for nothing. I mean, the smaller the penis, the tighter the cuffs. Is. I'm a relationship folk that do a diamond dozen. I make a fat coal into a diamond cluster. I apply enough pressure to blow the mind asunder. I'm a pimp in my own fucking rhyme this summer. I ain't got a license, but a nigga still driving something. I get playing just to leave these streets. Ain't left the hood yet and still feel like I ain't gon' leave. Them folks ran up on the crib and put the gank on beat. They took the guns, took the money, plus the same car, G. And then they tried to get Richie for murder. The feds couldn't do a goddamn thing without a shell or a burner. And then that school thing's fucking my nerves up. Cause I done seen more things in LU than I done seen on these corners. And I still got love for these streets. I'm so high, plus my mic's so nice. Check, one, two, three, I'm so high, plus my mic nice, plus my mic nice, plus my mic nice, yeah, I get my laugh in the best way, as you fading out of consciousness, from a sharp shape to the chest plate, pull it out, chuck a motherfucker in his neck vein, next thing them hospital men say, he can't make it, uh, and we gon' make it, be as real as it get money, we gon' take that, if they serve up that beat, sonny, we gon' stay big, bring the heat like May 1st on December the 18th, with children of the Cadillac, like James and Angel, ain't no love in this bitch, so get ready for the payback, I keep our cake handier than Pat Sajak, with say Jack and in your home, all oh, alone, don't say Jack, eating up them words, plus they gon' lose weight, they ain't gon' find nothing left but blood residue and duct tape, see, what we have here is a failure to commute. I got bad ears from busting that these busters hating. Quit all that bumbling under your breath. When it's quite clear you talk a nigga to death and ain't saying nothing. Don't feel like you in a lead yourself. When it's plenty bitch niggas.
feelers like you that's feeling they self. That's why I fucked your bitch. Why you feeling yourself? And Dirty Sanchez, you thought there was hell? A little peace for us. Uh, nigga, take that shit over there. You don't make a damn bit of sense. Like clowns fixing their hair and makeup. I smell pussy like your period's here. I got your sales at a standstill. I'm killing careers. My mere presence make you mad chill. I fill them with fear. Yeah. It's hot in here. <laughs> I guess that was it. <laughs> no, stop. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh. Y'all ready? Chief nerd. Seize the beach. Y'all ready? Nigga know, cold as dead, I had a winter snow, I'm trying to blow, like plenty of levels, I don't think it snows, I spit it dope, I'm in sisters and still not spinning dough, not being a hoes, couldn't kill my hope, I'm bitter in my mold, I'm bitter broke, I felt a tittle when I did the show, I let her smoke, mid a troll, I burn my friend to four, a sitting boat, I'm tagging stills on a tennis coat, and beating pit bulls, to bit the pope, I know the king was I had a dream, a plenty five, you buy gasoline, a travesty, let's burn it down, this town is after me, and casualty. A circumstance that happens tragedies. I strive to be all that I can be. Friend that parenting the fact that we hand out scrap for cash to add weed. I drag no feet. Supply demand. You say our man shoots while back in heat. I serve crackers, cracks, stack a stack of weed. I sat back and beat. So Myrtle Beach from Medicine Sand and Feet. I call a dog. And turn them off. Balls, 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 and balls will fall. Look at some justice in these crooked laws. See all is lost. This isn't gone before you sign up off. To try and say it is all false. Like ignorance, we call so much wrong. Like singing songs while I'm fucking thong and horn thong. I mean, can't all of y'all just get along? I seen it all. And done it up. Plus, I'm pulling the ball. I play the call. Awesome Holocaust by watching all these all the time. See all the plot. My heart and voices rhyme. I caution fire. I start the crime. I'm caught. I got the time. We're dying to find. I bust the problem. Walk the fire. This last year, boss, I'm calling. Pay my calls. I'm hollow. Thank you kindly. I'm hard to buy. It's not for me. I thought I'm all in nine. And we won't die. We fall the sauce. And God, we won't supply my doggy style. I'm not surprised. I'm on your dog. I'm thighs. I'm in her eyes. And it's in the cars to read a heart. The cops are long. You got some corn, I got some popping corn and drops of corn. I pop in pot just with this proper storm. I watch my form. I drop the cock more like a sausage stuff. I'm fucking in thorn. I'm falling in the corn until a dog will draw a short. I'm a monster, monster. I'm a rock and roll. She conforms. It gives a dick what it should start for. It's the choice. You know how much can the boys afford? I park and push my body. Y'all decide to force me fucking fool. You just a bust and a sucker, so I'm tucking to. And beat a bunch of dudes. I'm punching school and country cool. My culture, I'm a punk, I feel with none of the cool Where should I put? Make you bust the move, nothing to lose And once I'm stuck in this old skunky when we cutting crews And thumping the fuckers to their numbers, rooms We jumping Jews, jack and crack and black Tell that dude, pull the bobo to be the nation Not ready to the news, my time is right My light of life, for the nice is dying I eat with a pipe, and I eat twice For some like and nice to my delight She brought some rice, black show dice and vice They come in like thoughts of blind guys Who ride their tender bike, I like my life My side is white, my price is white tonight God, I I'm standing tall, I can't lie, he's tight, I'm precious mind. It's hard to find, I'm so them tighty whites, put your legs in the love, right love, but this is gonna be a fucking night, I'm getting fucked. The bitch bubbles like I'm getting drunk, the titties touch. She's sitting silly on top of city, bust the bitty butt. Was really rough, and plus I really rush. Pity us, the feeling bust, and then it keep us, the feeling crush. I seen enough, she's my shitty luck, she in a rough. Since Missy Nut, I do you win me, suck with Diddy Strut. One sticking dick above her chin and chuck, the idiot. And a cash you show, I'm finally cheering. Up, my speed just changed. Um, we meet and Keaton for freaking games. Me and C is Chich Jane, Marie plus Dick and Jane. They speaking lame about vegan things. My beep range. I'm speaking frequent and sees the range. She checks the seat for change. The scenic phase. It rearranges to a sea of babes and sees beefing. Cause, uh, we done made some cheese with thieving, these thieving dames. The Venus game. Uh, oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck freestyle. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So high. <laughs> S-O-H-I. I'll let your boy dance. So high. Uh, Facebook. Fucking uh, YouTube. Uh, shit. Fucking hook me up on MySpace. Fuck it. We bring your MySpace back. <laughs> Do that shit too. And you know what I'm saying? Shoot. No one fucking likes your band. No one likes your band, son. Game over. No one likes your band.
been hard, the writing lately. Terrible numbness, and then suddenly it comes. In beautiful fragments or, or terrible dreams, like nods. So high. These alpha misfits, my money keep it sunny for me in these south side streets. See, everybody say it's hard to eat, but it be these songs that's sweet. Sometimes my best songs get leaked. Them hard songs with that raw mystique. My heart song is protected by the floor to leak. It's roll call, and it's insisted that the swords can speak. It's so high, S O H N I C. A dose heavier on cosmic beats. We done bomb the streets. It's Baghdad on as calm as weak. I'm I fly when your cause is weak. Yeah, I'm all that. Plus a rubber and your jaws and cheeks. That raw rap like another one of Martin's speeches. Hard facts to the skeptics of the laws of reason. Fall back, going off the deep end. Bitch, I'm all that. Plus a rubber in your jaws and cheeks. That raw rap like another one of Martin's speeches. Hard facts to the skeptics of the laws of reason. Fall back, going off the deep end. And Thompson G's in. My citadel like ballers. Weekend. I put it on the digital to calm them heathens And did it for residuals, my soul achievement Ascended to the pinnacle by stroke of genius You choke your penis, you soak in semen I'm centered in a sister who as cold as we is I'm printed on a pistol, pull the point It sinks in like principles of citizens that roam with Jesus You temple full of liquor, I'm a cauldron steaming I'm fixing to get physical, they all retreat when I obliterate a bit of dude in all his legions By kicking in they genitals, I pause, they breathe in I spill a brew of pity fools involved in trees And I admit it, I'ma miss you too like all diseases Your lyrics ain't original, you bros is dreaming So I have arisen at the dawn of Easter So hot, plus a rubber in your jaws and cheeks That raw rap like another one of Martin's speeches Hard facts to the skeptics of the laws of reason all that and going off the deep end, bitch. I'm all that plus a rubber in your jaws and cheeks. That raw rap like another one of Martin's speeches. Hard packs to the skeptics of the laws of reason. All that and going off the deep end. We all that we got, we prisoners to broadband. Big spots to picture misses got the streets hot. I'm armed with peach schnapps, adrenaline and brawls that beatbox. My mission to get y'all to peep pop. I'm living in a system where my citizens is menaces at odds with the cops my niggas them is dodging cheap shots they women is envisioning an image of the god that we not us brothers act like god but we not we sent us in oblivion with spinners on our rides our jeeps not and clean like the cars and detox but still not omnipotent or limitless you ill till they bring the real killers in and kneel to the dealers and the bitches and the niggas damn feeling like the shit of shits spinning up your Benjamins is tricking dick, you don't get it, motherfucker, but man, it still can get it in, see, you ain't a pimp, see, women pimping, man, but I'm all that, plus a rubber in your jaws and cheeks, that raw rap, like another one of Martin's speeches, hard back to the skeptics of the laws of reason, fall back, going off the deep end, bitch, I'm all that, plus a rubber in your jaws and cheeks, that raw rap, like another one of Martin's speeches, hard back to the skeptics of the up the loud streets and fall back and going off the deep end, bitch. From all that, so you get y'all some chips and all that. Another banger. Straight up, come on.
shoot it. <laughs>